adding on to our self-defense stance. Now we call this a passive uh, self-defense stance. And what we mean by passive is, is we're not trying to escalate the situation. We want to bring calmness to the situation. We want to try to get out of the situation without any altercation. Because here's the bottom line. Anything that ends in a physical altercation is not going to be good for anybody involved. Um, injury can happen to, to um, us or to the attacker. Uh, police get involved. Uh, there's all kinds of things that happen with that. And so we want to avoid escalating a situation at all costs. But if the situation does begin to escalate and you feel threatened, again, we're going to work on just that passive self-defense stance. And so you've already hopefully uh, seen our video on the basic stance of how to stand by keeping your balance, not getting knocked off balance, uh, maintaining um, good uh, maneuverability and flexibility in your maneuvers. And so what we want to do is, again, we're starting with our feet shoulder width apart. We're going to place one foot in front of the other. Again, remember that the heel of the front foot is going to be on the same horizontal line as the toe of the back foot. So if I'm standing on a line right here, that foot of that front, the heel of the front foot it's going to be on the same horizontal line as the toe of my back foot. And so that's how far forward you're going to st stand. So shoulder width apart, put that front foot forward. Now here's the, here's the big thing about a passive self-defense stance. We're going to take our hands and we want to just put them up like this. Palms out, hands uh, above the elbow. We don't want to have our hands below our elbows. We want to make sure that our hands are above our elbows and our palms are out. This is a very passive stance. And so what it's telling an attacker is, hey, I don't want any problems. Hey, I don't want trouble here. Uh, it tells the attacker and anybody who might be also observing that you are not the aggressor. You're the one who is, hey, let's calm down. Let's get this, you know, let's talk about this. Uh, we can come to some type of reasonable um, a conclusion with our, our differences here and so it can be a situation where it's just somebody who's gotten angry uh, and this will just be like hey and and this is a calming uh, a calming approach to someone and so what we want to do is again we've got our feet shoulder width apart we got one foot in front we're just gonna put our hands up like this and say you know let's come to some understanding hey I don't want trouble uh, let's just you know get our own way but I've got my hands out front I'm in a ready position to defend myself. And we're going to add on to this uh, passive uh, self-defense uh, um, stance. Now, the other way we can go is we can go towards an aggressive uh, defensive stance. We may find ourselves in a situation where we don't have a choice. And so what we may need to do is, is go right to a more aggressive situation because maybe the attacker is advancing on us and we're not able to get our hands up and say, you know, and be calm about it. We may have to go right into a fighting stance. And so an aggressive stance would be the same stance, but you're going to put your, you're going to close your hands. Now this is going to give your attacker a totally different perspective this is a i'm ready to fight stance and it may escalate the situation and so we always say start with de-escalation first hey i don't want any trouble but this is trouble is coming and i can't do anything about it i've got my hands closed and i'm ready to defend myself so again we want to start with that passive hey i don't want any trouble but we may have to go to a more aggressive stance. And we're going to talk more about those and when to apply those uh, particular stances and how to apply those particular stances and what would be your next um, move in a particular situation uh, where the aggressor continues to um, advance on you and you don't have any other choice but to defend yourself. And so there's your, uh, there's your passive and your um, aggressive uh, stances for self-defense. Again, get those hands out front, defend yourself, get your stances in order, and be ready uh, to defend yourself uh, in that situation. So there you go. Take care, be safe, and we'll see you soon.